All right. Hello, everyone. This is Gendo Joy. This is um playing the Dawn of War tutorial. This is this uh tutorial is about Necrons. All right. Necrons is my second race when I because when I was playing the Dark Sake multiplayer and I only get to play either the Tower Empire or the Necrons. And because that time my friend chose the Tower, I prefer to be different. Therefore, I decided to play Necrons for the very first time. Yes, I played Necrons in a multiplayer land game, and then I was like, what the hell? Let me just raise the computers. No, uh, they use powers only. What kind of blood? systems that and then sooner or later I realized that Necrons actually is a pretty cool race seriously besides being slow in the beginning and then they're but the Necrons actually are a pretty solid play it's just that they're really vulnerable actually most most vulnerable race and uh, I believe the most vulnerable race in the beginning and yeah other than that um you have to really be smart to play Necrons in the beginning like uh I once played in um in the same battle where the Tau AI actually rushed me a bit and then thankfully I know how to play Necrons I, I, I'm able to defend the rush otherwise I just get freaking F over so the Necron sequence they actually um, because if you guys remember the Imperial Guard tutorial I said well build two um, two of these soldiers and then two guardsmen and then the tech priest and then the combo sign and they upgrade the f upgrade to tier 2 of the base now the Necrons are slightly different, which I'll now I will show you how how it's played. So we built two of these scrubs, this and Necron Lords. Yeah. So the first scrub, first builder built to capture points. Seriously, build to capture point because this is this is no power consumption and this is no power consumption as well. So the second one capture points as well. Yeah, go up there and capture points. Literally. So the two scrub go capture points. The first scrub is this scrubs. Yeah. I can't pronounce it. I'll just pretend they're called scrubs. And the third one, you start building these power plants. Yeah, that's how you build them. So, that's how you play. And uh, in the quick start, Necron seemed to have a huge advantage with quick start. Like the power, I got like 20k power. And of course, when the first location is being captured, you obviously want to build these obsolete. Uh, opposite. I can't pronounce words these days. And um, yeah, when the guy comes out, these guys come out, you must reinforce them. These are your population thing. Necron get population from building capture points and build this crap. I've got upgraded towers and all these crap and relic points. Yeah, first so the first worker, once that is done, relic points. Yeah. Okay, so the second one is building as well. So if if you are run, if it's real desperate to keep spamming like this, I should be fine. It's all for free and as long as you reinforce them. So in the standard place the same opening, two of these. First one capture point. Second one capture point, third one build the uh, build stuff. Except these guys in the standard play, you don't reinforce them. You just don't reinforce them at all. But in the quick start, you must reinforce them. Therefore, the different system, of course. And capture this point, capture scrap. Of course, we can't upgrade straight away because we need that need this crap. We need the summoning core. So we can't leave the we can leave the generator alone and then start building this uh, the summoning core for for the for the thing. And because Nikon the time thing is so slow, they really need the capture point, you know, and build the obsolex. Excuse me, I I can't pronounce my damn words these days. Just build these for the crap things, so they could uh, stay for you can increase the time bonus. I think the Necron's got ripped off in this in this uh, Soulstorm compared to Dark say Before it's actually 20, now it's 15, and I was like, what the hell, man? I mean, come on, Necron's already damn slow enough in the Dark say and then they made it even worse. So I was really more relatively upset with it. And you need to build this for better now I've tried as well, which is going to lead in later use. Upgrade it, and then yeah, upgrade this as well. So it increase the health and general purpose. Necron doesn't need much research. It's all about how to survive the early stage. I think it's the most important part. Of course, the AI is all easy, so it can show you how to play this crap. So yeah, this one, number two, number one, F2 stance. Yep, F2 stance, yes. Now, now because with the part, these things actually, uh, yeah, upgrade all these obsolete, this is not, not a bad thing. And uh, Necron Tower is actually the best. This one you must upgrade to level 2, otherwise you, just clear. you must man manually use this thing. So other than that, Necron is actually to some degree is a little bit uh, inconvenient to use. But so other than that, I think they're still pretty awesome to know. They really are awesome. Build one here, one here, and one here. One HQ, four towers. And well, having four towers probably means that their eight their towers are pretty strong. Where well, other base they get you have six of them. We can play flayed ones and uh, play um, immortals as well. Now, let's leave it alone, bit because now the archive. Is it archive or archive? I call it archive. Probably just one pronunciation. And okay. 
the three spells, the Unknown Nails three spells, and having these each of these spells actually is quite, quite important because if you use the wrong spells, I mean, you just kind of fuck yourself over. A long time ago, when I first played Necrons, I went like, here, 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 and I don't even know what each of the two I was a pretty dumb kid and just like, spam random things. And then, I just stuffed myself up and then I was like, oh my god. And now as I learn it, you get a solo pose, is the first one, because that, I think that's a regardless of the Early stage or late stage, always helpful, really, always helpful. He, if you watch some of my replay, insane replay as a Necron, you just jump the Necron Lord, teleport inside the middle of the range, must be ranged, okay? Must be ranged. Jump inside the middle middle of the range squad, don't let you use Necron Lord. Necron is not a sacrificial unit, seriously, it's not a sacrificial unit. It's a disruptor, you must use some disruptor in the battlefield. And go up there, disrupt it, and then chuck one of the solar flare, make them, so, not solar flare, solar post, and then they all screwed over. All these idiots just screwed over it. So yeah, and the third, I know, second and the third, well, well, let's wait for a second, because first we need to build HQ. The second HQ, next one's slightly different, we don't build them near here, we don't do that. Because, the strange thing about the monolith, is that, they want to be built, because they're so damn slow once they mobilize themselves, you want to build them near the battlefield, therefore you, the second one, or the third one, preferably, toward near the battlefield, even like, I even, I don't care, prefer to the front. Even here, necessary. The only bad thing was you had to upgrade from tier one, so you had to upgrade all the HQ from tier one to tier three. Unfortunately speaking, we need to get reveal this crap as well, and then this crap, walk of these generator crap. Just keep it uh, limited. But other than that, Necrons is really generally easy to play. I find it. It's like a, it's like the most relaxing race to play. So the first, second, and third. Somehow use this. I can't even pronounce it. Sometimes I use this one. I use this one more. But I definitely third one is the Vow of Darkness. It's really, I usually use this all the time. Because the Vow of Darkness creates invisibility, even buildings. So sometimes I use that to last a bit longer. If you watched my long time ago video back in uh, 2008 or 2009, there was a video called Necron's Last Stand. Watch the third part. I survived like about six minutes of, on the third part of the video because of the Vow of Darkness. Because the because uh, if, if all the enemies can't see me. It was 4v2. Two of my allies just fucked up. And then there was 4v2, and then I used that last longer among my turrets. These turrets are just so epic powerful, seriously, just unbelievable, they're just so epic powerful. And then, some freaking space marine commander chucked the orbital, the orbital relay thing. That's the one that fucked me over, and that's the one that calls the game GG. You should watch that video, because I believe that's one of my classic, uh, my classic uh, game of all time. So, I think that's the best one, and yeah, what you guys do is just build it for me. And yeah. So we can either do that, but I don't usually see, I think I should do this one and then do that one or that one. If, if I realize I'm gonna do a lot of sacrificial time, sacrificial way of playing, I just grab this uh, orb, so just go to the middle again, teleport, smash it, jump away if it's in danger. And once you spot the units are in the health, half of the health when they respawn, so I recommend you. I don't know, like, preferably save or what, but why just why, but I mean, that's just pretty helpful anyway. I build another something called because to increase the area. The only way you can increase the controlling area is actually the something called the HQ. Play ones. Uh, we want to play ones to be in the HQ. So, this is what I allocate. These main ones, they'll be outside, of course, you need to upgrade them as well. We really need, we really need to. And then, this main one here, we're using to deploy these play ones. We can Necrons are actually teleport unit. That's what that because they compensate for their slow mobility and all that crap. So we build this this one's the best, and then that, that should fill all my population. Yeah, that's pretty good. That fill all the population. Upgrade the tower should be upgraded. I think. Let's just go like this. I find it to be quite powerful, even although it says more effective against uh, effective. I think it's more effective against pen. Oh no. Apparently I've got the heavy guns, it's more effective penetrating. It just doesn't care, it's probably says like, I don't know, I mean, it's still pretty good against infantry, I guess, so. We're gonna grab this one, and I'll, I'll currently leave the last one just, just in case between these two. I never use the Nightmare Strong, because I find it a little bit, um, cause them away in fear. I mean, when I was playing massively, who the hell cares? I mean, you screw away one squad, you got a second squad to deal with. Therefore, I see that it has no effect with it. Now, as solar posts and and uh, the orb seem to give me a lot of beneficial, makes my battle, my, my warriors to last longer. I need that freaking energy core. Worker, 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 yeah. 
And of course, look at that. How many points I capture? I only got 75% capacity, which is still not good. I want this. I want these more. Necrons really need these damn um, things as well. And of course, you need immortals. In the late stage, you can just, you can almost ditch these Necron wars and build these guys. Yeah, these immortals. I mean, uh, Necron's so strong. Even these units that actually says that can like effective against vehicles and aircraft. You just build them. Who cares? I and mean, these things they seem really solid enough to uh, penetrate, like defeat everything. So yeah, with the energy builds, we should just crap, you need that, and then we're gonna mobilize this one, so one of these guys mobilize. Reason you need to build it in multiple HQs because if this guy dies, it returns back to here with low health, and then you need to repair this crap. If you so be good therefore, you need to mobile then you mobilize this crap. So that's why we need this multiple HQ like this stuff here. So if you can understand what I mean. This is why when you play your race, you must understand how they function, how they work. Necron, to be honest, for me, when I play, is a lot easier. Seriously, a lot easier than Imperial Guards. I find Imperial Guards a lot harder to play. Because I find Necron's a lot easier. <laughs> for some reason. Okay, it's time to number our troops. So, this is troop. Okay, Destroyer. Lord of Strikers, I'm gonna put them to melee classifiers. Melee them. Melee units, though, because they are. Uh, let's see. Where's my. These guys. Two. Okay. Number three. Uh, I don't need to name number flame one. Flame one just go pure F5 stance, seriously. And then because they have no morale, that's a good thing. They have more morale damage, therefore you just let them go up in suicide. Three, where's four? I don't have more four. I only have one four. No, I have two four. Where's my other four? God damn it. I don't remember building. No, no, no. no I only build one. Number three, and then I need a tomb spider. Tomb spiders are good as well. I mean, Necros really have a lot of just ma massive melee units, so therefore, make the great use of them. So, seriously, make great use of them. And yeah, Toon Spider. No, 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 you know what? Oh, no, Toon Spider always respawn from behind here, so, unfortunately. So, another time, let's go up there and help our friends. I made a bit of 2v1, it's a bit unfair, but this is for tutorial purpose, so, yeah. For the Necron, uh, for the smaller, you had to be smarter because they're really effing slow. You had to make sure to take the shoulder through. For me, I want to from reach here to there. I think I maybe come over here and then rest a bit, teleport like this way. That's the only way I think I can think of. So teleport number one, 